It's been a long road to Kiev. 79 teams began qualification in June 2017. 32 made it to the competition proper and now, after 124 matches, 397 goals and 9 James Milner assists, Real Madrid or Liverpool stand on the brink of glory. Real are chasing their third title in a row in the Champions League and their 13th European Cup or Champions League overall, Liverpool their second of the Champions League era and their sixth overall. Zinedine Zidane's Madrid qualified as Spain's La Liga winners in 2016-17 but would have done so anyway as holders of the Champions League. Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool have had a slightly longer journey to the final. The English side finished fourth in the English Premier League last season and as such went into the playoff rounds to face Hoffenheim who had reached that phase of the tournament for the first time in their history under Julian Nagelsmann. Trent Alexander-Arnold scored a free kick on his European debut to secure a 2-1 away win before goals from Emre Can, Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino against his former side secured a 4-2 home win and a progression to the group stages. In the playoff round, 57 teams competed for 10 spots in the group stages of the Champions League, scoring 246 goals in 94 games. Celtic's Scott Sinclair and Patrick Tumazi of Astana top scored with five goals each. Five English teams made the group stages of the Champions League. Manchester United, Chelsea, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur and of course Liverpool. Only Chelsea failed to win their group although they did see off Atletico Madrid in the process. Manchester City, many pundits tip for the English club most likely to succeed, saw a Feyenoid, Napoli and Shakhtar Donetsk, whilst Europa League winners United topped a weaker group featuring Basel, CSKA Moscow and Benfica. Liverpool were unbeaten in their group, qualifying top, winning three and drawing three and in the process managing the second best goal difference of the group stage plus 17 after Paris Saint-Germain's plus 21. Opening their account with draws at home to Sevilla and away to Spartak Moscow, Liverpool then hammered Maribor 7-0, a record away win for English clubs in the European Cup or Champions League. Maribor were then beaten 3-0 at home before another draw with Sevilla. The group stages finished with a 7-0 thrashing of Spartak at Anfield. Roberto Firmino helped himself to six group stage goals, Mohamed Salah 5 and Barcelona bound Coutinho netted 5 as well. Real Madrid had a trickier time in Group H, facing Tottenham and Borussia Dortmund as well as Apoel. Real could only finish second after drawing at home and losing away to Spurs. They did however beat Dortmund home and away and hammered Apoel 6-0 in Nicosia. Ronaldo scored in every game in the group stages, netting 9 in total, becoming the first player in history to achieve this. Ronaldo scored 19 Champions League goals in 2017, the most by any player in a calendar year. Then to the round of 16, Liverpool faced Porto while Real Madrid took on the big spend in Paris Saint-Germain. Four of the eight ties saw seven or more goals on aggregate and Real's 5-2 win over PSG, 3-1 at home and 2-1 away was one of them. Ronaldo scored in both legs, obviously. Liverpool obliterated Porto away with Sadio Mane grabbing a hat-trick before securing progress with a 0-0 at Anfield. For all their attacking flair, Liverpool were the only side not to concede a goal in the round of 16. April saw the quarter-finals take place. Real Madrid played Juventus in a replay of last season's final while Liverpool and Manchester City scrapped in an all-English affair. Liverpool pressed City until Pep Guardiola's men folded. A 3-0 win at Anfield was followed by a 2-1 win at the Etihad, with Gabriel Jesus scoring City's solitary goal. The tie was effectively won in a 19-minute salvo in the first leg, from Salah's 12th minute opener to Mane's goal to make it 3-0 in the 31st minute. After that, even a great early start from City in their home leg could not prevent Klopp's team coming out on top as first Salah and then Firmino put the tie out of reach of the Premier League champions. Real Madrid had a far tougher time, beating Juventus 3-0 away with two goals from Ronaldo and one from Marcelo despite hanging on for large portions of the game. Real's home legs saw the Italian champions sweep to a 3-0 league with two Mario Mandzukic goals and one from Blaise Matuidi. In perhaps the most dramatic moment of the competition though, Real were awarded a penalty deep into stoppage time. 
Ronaldo scored, of course, against Wojciech Szczesny after Gigi Buffon had been sent off for his protests against the decision. The semi-finals saw once more Real looking like the second best before coming through against Bayern Munich. The German side outpassed, outshot and outthought their Spanish opposition but fell to goals from Marcelo and Asensio in the first leg and a brace from Karim Benzema in the second helped by a bizarre piece of goalkeeping from Sven Ulrich. Liverpool and Roma played out a barnstorm in two legs. Roma had surprised everyone by overturning a deficit against Barcelona in the quarters to progress and almost managed to take Liverpool to extra time in the second leg in Rome. Liverpool looked to be cruising after a 5-2 win at Anfield with all goals coming from the Mane Firmino Salah Trident but as Barca learned to their cost a three goal aggregate lead is the most dangerous score against Roma. Eusebio Di Francesco's team fell behind in Rome to an Erle Mani goal but never gave up and two late goals from Raja Golan led to a heart-stopping finale. Klopp's side hung on though. And so to Kiev. It's been quite the journey. No side has scored more goals in the competition than Liverpool's 40, with Firmino and Salah each bagging 10. No individual has scored more than Ronaldo's 15. Indeed, Ronaldo has become the first player to score 15 or more goals in three Champions League seasons, adding 2017-18 to 2013-14 and 2015-16. Barring a serious effort from Salah or Firmino, Ronaldo will also finish this season as top scorer, having also been the top scorer in the five previous consecutive seasons. Ronaldo against Liverpool's defence. Real's backline against Salah, Mane and Firmino. James Milner against Tony Cruz. This game will have everything. A fitting end to two long, exciting and very different routes to the chance to be Europe's best.